Hi everyone, this is Deep Single once again. Welcome back to episode 5 of How to Hack in Tasha Lenovo Y50. So in this episode, I will going to tell how to set up your SM BIOS and how to deassembling your DSDT and SSDT and how to patch them. So requirement are pretty much an active internet connection on your Hackintosh and this guide is featuring Lenovo Y50 full HD version not a UHD version and the guide reference pretty much coming from TonyMacX86.com so I would like to thank the community which is providing a lot of source of information on how to Hackintosh your PC and laptop. So first you will need an internet connection. You can opt for a ethernet connection or you can uh, grab a Adimax Wi-Fi dongle which I showed in a benchmark video. The model and everything is available on that video. Or you can use pretty much your Android phone to connect to your internet via USB tethering. After that you need to download Clover configuration, all links and applications uh, information are down in description below uh, so you can download it directly after that you just need to open the clover configuration and you have to mount if we drive which can be done like this after mounting it will going to ask for authentication after authentication it will going to show some error just continue it and you will see that your system drive which is the boot uh, which which uh, having a boot file and configuration file will be mounted and once you're done with it you just need to select it we are using the home uh, icon and after that you just need to go to SMBIOS and select macbook icon which is like this and you have to choose the down word the core i7 has well thing and then you have to shake the peak of manufacturer and unit number after that, click ok and your sm bios is ready after that you have to export the settings to config file which can be done like this you just need to export like this after that your sm bios has been set up you just need to install install drivers for it too so you just need to change the target partition to iffy first which can be done like this and after that you just need to install two drivers which is amu variable uefi and ntfs uefi which can be done like this just you just need to click on it After setting up your SM BIOS and installing drivers, you just need to copy DSDT folder which you extracted from Linux in a part 4. If you didn't follow the part 4, just follow the part 4 correctly and extract your DSDT using Linux. After extracting them, you just need two more files which is Mac IASL and IASL terminal file. All links are in description below. After that, you just need to create new one new folder which is uh, mandatory to sort out your DSDT and SSDT files. You just need to sort your DSDT and SSDT files and move them to a new folder, which I am doing like this. After dragging them, you can just delete the main folder and start to sort and edit the files in the new folder, which I am doing this way you just need to add AML extension uh, after the file name uh, this will make a uh, deassembler to recognize recognize the file easily so just need to add the AML extension which is pretty much a renaming file and add extension which is very easy after that you just need to go to finder and you have to click on go and go to folder and this you have to write slash usr slash bin which is the location of or terminal files i think and you just need to drag this iesl file this is a dsmler file so you just it will ask for authentication after authentication it will going to be set it up properly after that you just need to go to terminal and 
just need to change the directory which is can be done like this cd desktop as my dsgt folder are in desktop so you just need to type the command as it is as in, in this video i did a mistake i put a name of ddst instead of dsdt so i just need to type a command again which is cd ddst after i'm getting the in the directory of that i just need to write this command to disassemble all the aml file after that you will see that uh, all dsl file come up and it is pretty much a disassemble file so it has been done successfully and very easy easily can be achieved by just single click of command after that you just need to open a mac iesl uh, program and the project juniors need to go to preferences and in sources you just need to add a source which is uh, in uh, in name you can write anything i am writing source and in url you just need to type this exact same url which uh, you see in the screen right now which is raw.github and all that all links are in description below you can check it out after that you just need to set the compiler option to acpi 5.0 and update the isl after that your compiler is ready to pass the dsdt and ssdt this is very simple after that you will see such error just ignore it if you don't see then it's all good to go After that you go to DSDT fold, DDST folder or DSDT folder and select your DSDT.DSL file it will going to open up. After that you will see such window and click on patch. In this patch text uh, box you just need to write uh, and copy paste the command which is in description below. All files will be in description below. You just need to copy the exit code and paste it over here and just click on apply after that your dsdt initial uh, patch has been set up after that you just need to cover uh, patch this couple list of uh, drivers and you can see a patching thing basically you just need to scroll and look for these patches and apply them which can be done like this You just need to take care that you just need to have a active internet connection and a good internet connection so that the patch and every code can be executed well and without any error. I would like to tell that these this patching uh, patching tutorial is pretty much same for all Hackintosh uh, uh, compatible laptop or PC if you know the hardware thing and har hardware configuration of your Hackintosh you can pretty much look for the patching list and compatible patching list and patch them as it is like I'm doing now so this tutorial is basically focused uh, universally on any Hackintosh compatible PCs it, this is the list which is recommended uh, for the Lenovo Y50 these all information are available on Tony Mac x86.com so you can also check the guide out there this is the just a video representation of that guide so there is no such contribution of mine uh, as such really 
द इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज़ बीन रिटर्न बाय अ गाय ऑन टोनी एक्स टोनी मैक एक्स एटी सिक्स डॉट कॉम एंड द रेहब मैन अ मॉडरेटर डू हेल्प द लॉर्ड इन इट एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर द लॉर्ड इन इट सो आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक एवरीबडी वन सेकेंड आफ्टर यू डन विद पैचिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू क्लोज इट एंड क्लिक ऑन कंपाइल टू सेव देर इज एन एर और नॉट You will see there is no error, just a warnings and remark kind of stuff. So there is no such issue. After that, you just need to save the files, which can be done like this. Go to file and save it. First, you just need to back up, or first you just need to save it in the Clover uh, and ACPI and in a patched folder. You just need to take care that the extension and file format should be in uh, ACPI machine language binary. And for backup, you all you can save it in a deassemble ASL file. After that, you just need to open your Clover configuration once again and. In the ACPI section, you will just need to just name the DSDT name, which is the DSDT.AML, which is an AC ACPI file located in your system drive or boot, uh, Clover boot uh, UFI thing. And after that, you just need to export the configuration once again, so that everything should be successfully imported and exported on a configuration file. So this is how you will patch the DSDT. After that, you will need to download. Uh, some fake PCIID file and after that you just need to drag uh, and download and uh, extract the files and you just need to locate these files into desktop and you just need to download the kext utility which is a utility to download kext driver files in hackintosh this tool is very good and very handy tool this allows user to install kext file very easily after you're done with the kext utility download you just need to extract it and extract the application on desktop or you can move the extracted app uh, in desktop Just remember to remove the fake PCI ID CAX also, which I didn't do in the video. You can do it later on, no problem. After that, you just need to look for SSDT files. So you just need to search in SSDT file device and uh, in bracket GFX zero. Uh, after findings that uh, line of code, you just got the correct ssdt file to patch after getting the file uh, the code inside the file of ssdt which is in this video is ssdt4.dsl you can patch the following uh, patches which is gfx to i gpu and has well 4600 geosimity and brightness fig has well which is pretty much the same process as in dsdt patching After patching the three of them, you just need to patch more one more code which can be found in description below. Just copy and paste the same code in the patch text content and just apply the code and compile it once again. If you don't see any error, just save it in the system drive as in as you did for the DSGT thing. Pretty much the same process. First, you just you can just back up your disassemble file so that in future if you want to patch it again. You just don't need to extract it uh, using Linux and all those kind of stuff. So it will going to save a lot of time. After that, you just need to save in the patch folder in a ACPI format. After that, your SSDT and DSDT has been configured and perfectly exported. After that, you just need to. After that, you just need to go to kernel and kex patches, and you just need to add one more uh, 
कैक्स टू पैस थिंग विच इज ऑल्सो इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो ऑल फाइल्स यू जस्ट नीड टू कॉपी पेस्ट द थिंग विच आई एम डूइंग just follow as i am following as i am doing and you will be all right after that you will just need to export the configuration once again after the configuration you just need to uh install the kext which is the fake pcii एच डी फोर सिक्स हंड्रेड एस एंड एस डी फोर फोर जीरो जीरो एंड अ फेक पी सी आई आई डी फाइल विच इज इन द रिलीज फोल्डर विच यू डाउनलोडेड जस्ट वायल अगो यू जस्ट नीड टू ड्रैक दीज टू फाइल्स इन द कैक्स यूटिलिटी एंड अथेंटिकेट इट आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी ऑल राइट एंड योर प्री मच एवरीथिंग विल बी सैर अ प्रॉपरली After that, you just need to quit the Kex utility and reboot your Hackintosh. Or uh, and after that, you will see some graphic acceleration, and there is no graphic glitches which you found so far on screen while boot up and while logging in to your Hackintosh. which is an indication that your you have just fixed all the patches and all the drivers of your hackintosh uh, for example i can show that in settings uh, in display i got a native resolution and having a brightness slider which is pretty much sure that my brightness thing is working and there is no lag in animation anymore as you can see i'm doing i'm launching a launch pad and there's no lag in animation and everything is working smoothly so this is all guys for the part 5 of a series of this hackintosh on lenovo y50 hope you guys like this video uh, just please carefully follow the all instruction which i just showed i am not a very technical person but i did a uh, try my best to explain all the stuff and i just tried my best to make the videos as easy as possible i do appreciate your like and comments in the video if you didn't follow the previous video just follow them before uh, getting into the part 5 in the next part i will going to be working on power management and some uh error debugging stuff so do check it out uh, uh for sure and subscribe my channel for a new update so this is all guys for the episode 5 of this hackintosh on lenovo y50 so so thanks guys this is deep single from attack point Come on.